So the next uh, topic will be IV access. So intravenous access, uh, in my judgment, uh, is required whenever w one anticipates giving more than one liter of tumescent local anesthesia. So it doesn't mean they have to have an IV drip going uh, continuously, but it does mean that you should at least have an IV access with a heparin lock so that one can administer drugs if there should be a need to. The most common need, common reason that I've encountered for having a, a IV access is giving a patient atropine, for example, 0.3 to 0.4 milligrams of atropine if there should be a vasovagal event such as syncope or near syncope. So when a patient is horizontal and lying there and gets a bit vasovagal, uh, they generally don't faint, but they become bradycardic and hypotensive and diaphoretic and uh, obviously somewhat uh, anxious and if not panicky because of the experience. And they don't faint, it just gets worse and worse, the bradycardia progresses and it can actually become dangerous. So it's important to be able to uh, arrest that event with some atropine, which works very, very quickly. And if you have uh, uh, IV access already available. You just need to uh, come uh, come with a pre-drawn amount of atropine, 0.4 mL, or 0.4 mL of a multiple use dosage, and uh, and give that IV. The patients within 30 seconds uh, are returning to normal, feeling better, and uh, you can proceed with the surgery. And the patient will have confidence that you know how to take care of this situation. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.